This week, while the mainstream media was obsessing over states who dare to reopen their economies, here are the things that happened that really matter. A new antibody study out of New York State shows 13.9% of the state's population has already contracted COVID-19. As of right now, there are 257,216 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in New York State, and 15,302 people have died. That's a crude case fatality rate of 6%, but if the true number of infections in New York is 2.7 million, which is more than 10 times the number of confirmed cases statewide currently, and 15,000 of these people have died, that's an infection fatality rate of 0.5%. But did the mainstream media report that this is a really big deal because a high incidence rate means a much lower hospitalization rate and a much, much lower fatality rate for this virus? Nope. The mainstream media intentionally tried to spin these results as scary. There has been an 8,000% increase in calls to suicide hotlines in Los Angeles, thanks to COVID-19 and the widespread economic devastation caused by the lockdowns. We're now seeing a 16% unemployment rate in our country. One in six Americans are out of work. Furthermore, a UK doctor says more people will die of cancer due to surgery bans and delayed treatment than will die of COVID-19. The United Nations says hundreds of thousands of kids will die in 2020 alone from the economic downturn caused by the lockdowns. In addition to the skyrocketing calls to suicide hotlines, remember, a virus didn't do this. Politicians did. But did the mainstream media report that people died because of lockdowns? No, no, the mainstream media didn't say a word. New studies from the Department of Homeland Security show that the COVID-19 virus is weakened by sunlight, heat, and humidity, which begs the question, if the science shows sunlight and heat and humidity, AKA the outdoors, is the best place to kill off the virus and prevent transmission, why then are our politicians forcing us to stay locked down inside our homes? That is anti-science. But did the mainstream media ask that question? No, no, they did not. Two new German and Swiss studies claim the data shows the COVID-19 epidemic was under control before the government mandated lockdowns in those countries because the reproductive rate of the virus was leveled out to about R0-1, which means an infected person is only infecting one other person, which means the epidemic can't expand further. And this reproductive rate slowed to neutral in Germany and Switzerland before their governments implemented lockdowns. And what slowed the reproductive rate to flatten the curve was individual social distancing measures and a ban on large events. But did the mainstream media report that? No, they didn't. Thanks to Democrats and a provision the Democrats put into the coronavirus stimulus packages, some people can make more money on unemployment than by working. And you might think this was a terrible accident, but no, Democrats did this on purpose. Even after Republican Senator Ben Sass offered an amendment to cap unemployment benefits at 100% of people's paychecks, every Democratic senator except Joe Manchin voted in favor of the bloated provision. And Democratic Senator Ron Wyden admitted, and I quote, supercharging unemployment benefits has long been a priority for Senate Democrats. Our proposal was not a drafting error, end quote. What's worse, Nancy Pelosi wants to extend this from July 31st through the end of September. But did the mainstream media report on this abuse of taxpayer money and how incentivizing people to be unemployed will damage our economy? Nope. The mainstream media didn't say a word. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you. So we will. 